Welcome back to the channel guys, Shirtless Gamer here. Today we're going to be playing two games in the Batch Hat 25T. Um, the first one we ended up getting Ensk. Not really the map most guys would want with the Batch Hat, but we're going to try and make it work the best we can. Uh, so clearly I'm going to be pushing up the 9-0 line in the field. Um, that way I can utilize my V range and hopefully clip out some lightly armored vehicles if we can. Maybe catch the arty out there. Um, there'd be a nice little shutdown, quick off in the game. And right after that, I mean, we'll be in the perfect ideal position to just flank around all the heavies that are duking it out in the city. Um, I don't like loading a whole lot of heat with this tank. Um, usually I run 15 15, half and half, but uh, I've noticed lately, the few games that I've played, the APCR is a lot more. Um, you know, it's, it's a lot more convenient for this vehicle rather than driving around slaying heat it, too, too many of the times it just digs into the tracks and poor marksmanship maybe but I don't know I, I don't mind the APCR on this vehicle I don't think it's all that weak as some people do but uh, so we're, we're gonna be pushing up over here getting into these bushes um, just gonna see what the Sheridan spots start I like to start these bushes here because uh, it, it, it does give you shots to counter that light tank position that they have by the the, the log cabin. Uh, so we're just gonna pretty much just sit and wait, see what happens. Um, I want to move up. Yep. And there you go. They're at the bat chat. You gotta you gotta make sure to fully aim these things. And, well, so there's one. Let's see if we can get another. No. So that that happens a lot with the bat chat. Um, some some days the RNG is glorious. There's there's some days where <laughs> if you try and snipe, nothing will hit. But I'm just going to push up here, try and, you know, extend my vision out. I'm not going to reload yet. See if we can spot TDs, maybe. Maybe the Artie. Artie would be nice if we could kill some Artie right off the bat. Um, save our heavy some trouble. And, alright, 2 and 12A. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back up so I don't get spotted right away. I, I don't think you can. Oh, just one. Oh, other Artie. Um, oh, awesome. I thought our already was going to steal that for sure. Um, go for a reload because obviously I have no shells left. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it slow around here so that way I actually have a clip loaded before I come around the corner and expose to enemy vehicles. Uh, and since I've got two tanks here to support so I, I feel comfortable taking my time doing this. Uh, if they start taking damage, I'll, I'll start playing aggressive acting like I have shells, but if they're not losing HP and I'm not in any rush to do anything, but why do I do it? So I'm thinking about hitting the WZ because he's he's alone, you know, he's, he's away from everything. But I see my Sheridan pushing aggressive, my Type 61 as well, and with this 263, he's he's alone as well, so that this guy's in my way. But you try to help your team, that's what happens. No, um, that, that's on me, I just poor driving, I didn't pay attention. But, so Sheridan puts me good in track and shot. Sadly, yeah, I get track and driving, I get hit there, but... You know, can't really do anything. I'm just gonna unload into this guy. Hopefully, they finish him off. And I'll be able to. Honestly. I'm gonna go for another reload. And so, big thing with the bat jet, especially in a small environment like this, you have to pay attention to vehicles that are that are caught alone. So the next target is that WZ. I have two teammates on him. I'm gonna go pressure him because that's. It's an easy shutdown. It takes a gun out of the fight, rather than yoloing into the heavies. Then, I mean, if you look at the line there, I've got a heavy in each when they're, they're all dying. So, if I would have went over there, I would have maybe killed one or two tanks, and then I would have got killed. Uh, but with this WZ, he's focused on my friends, so I'm just gonna come over and put a round into him. Uh, lucky fire, finish him off with two instead of three. Um, and with that, I'm gonna go try and get these interrupt interrupting shots while they're trying to um, shift back on our Kronvon and then they'll be ultimately driving back to us because they know where we are um, so I'm going to make my way around try and get around in to help this Kron um, <laughs> most days I would have ended up hitting the Kron you know, not got anything just trying to look for a shot and get another extra one in see if we can get the T-30 when he comes out uh, of course not alright, I'm going to reload because there's no reason to keep one shell in especially when the game's tied um, I'm gonna load heat this round action um, because they got heavier vehicles left, the E100 and the Type, and you know, I'd, I'd rather keep the APCR when it comes down to 
me needing to snipe or engage at long distance. And the, the team is just crumbling. We're left with the Sheridan and the two Arties. Uh, the good thing about this, though, is a lot of their tanks... I don't remember the HP of the 704, but all these tanks I can clip out. So if I can get them one by one, I, I think we'll be in a pretty good spot. Uh, I was checking, I was hoping the M48 was actually going to push, but you know, he's not there, so... I'm going to go try and finish off that type, and there's the pet. The problem with heat is you can't shoot through these things after expose. Yep, uh, U100. It's a rush shot. Why did that not go in? That was, that was awful. That was painful. All right, well, what do we what do we hit there? One one shell, and we just whiff the other four. Yeah, that's full heat. That's gonna be painful. Um, now we're just running away because you can see that Patton. He is he's zerging me as fast as he can pedal the metal. Uh, so I'm gonna just try and bob and weave my way away through here. See if I can get one more clip in. That'd be ideal. Um, we could actually still win. He almost snapshot me. We could still win this. Um, just depends on if our arties move and <laughs> don't just sit there in front of them. Uh, but with their support and also if I can get into position to help, hopefully I can get here and clip out this pattern. Uh, but oh, that building's in the way. I might not be able to. One. Can I loop one over? Uh, no. N none of those buildings are just and I actually get tunnel vision here. I did not see that T30 got spotted. So that that was on me. I was going to rush and YOLO the patent to finish him off. I did not realize the T30 got spotted there. So that's on me, but you know, you can't you know, can't change it. Um, ultimately on Ensk, I'm I'm happy with that result. 4500 damage on Ensk with a bat chat. I'm I'll I'll take it. You know, that's that's a pretty decent game in a bat regardless, but on Ensk I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll take it. We pushed up the field, took the field. Um, it's not a whole lot more we could have done. Maybe it would have been better to push into the heavies, the back of the heavies while they were engaging ours. But, uh, you know, like I said, we did what we did. You can't change it. So this is the second game. It's on Lakeville. Um, this is a lot more ideal of a map, I would say. Um, and as you can see, matchmaking is extremely nice this time. I don't think I've been top tier with a bat a whole lot, but the times that I do, I I have a lot of fun because it's it's a strong vehicle at tier 10, like in a 10, tier 10 match itself. So putting it against tier 8s, hey man, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> uh, so we have, what is encounter game? Um, so what I'm thinking they're going to do is, they've got a lot of heavies, so I, I'm expecting a city the majority of the battle will be in the city, so I'm going to push to the beginning bushes at uh, J6 just to see if I can get those spots in the center road as fast as I can. EBR might do it, but I th I've probably got better view range than he does, so I'm going to just sit here and assist him in that if he needs to be and get some across map snipes if he does push up and do EBR things and spots up at the uh, Bravo 7 area. So, with him pushing up there, I'm hoping to get some cross maps shots, but uh, we actually get the uh, ravioli and the Scorp G spotted in the center. If we had shots on these guys, that would be awesome, because they've got no armor, this gun's not the most accurate of guns, so we, we wouldn't have to aim for weak points like we normally would, so if, if we had shots on those, that would have been a very nice beginning clip at the start of the game, but we don't, so, you know can't change that. There's nothing we could have done to do that. Um, I was kind of hoping the EBR would have been spotted a little longer when he came out of cover, so that way I could have at least tried to engage him. Uh, so we got the 703 here, the double barrel. First one dips into his track. Uh, upper plate. I'm not expecting these to go in. I'm, I'm not there. Up to the right lower plate. Or upper plate. Sorry about that. Um, that one just barely hit the side, and we're able to finish it. So, like I said, it's sniping with this is very hard, and they are actually pushing Valley really hard. Um, so, with them pushing Valley, I'm going to take this position here. 
Um, this position with um, some TDs such as the E25 or the Kanonen Jagdpanzer either. Um, this spot's extremely good for defending a melee push. You can sit there and shoot all day long and you will not get spotted. Um, haven't tried it with the bat, but if you reverse... Uh, if you guys don't know, with the bat chat, if you go reverse, you have... It adds like one or two more degrees of gun depression. So it allows me to actually use this position a little better. Um, as you can see, these bushes, you can see through them, so I'm not actually getting camo from these ones a whole lot, but that little bush in front of me right there, that's where my camo is coming from. Uh, now I'm thinking about aiming to hit that bat chap, but we, ha we had plenty of guns looking over there, so I'm focused on these guys in the valley itself. Um, but also, you've seen the accuracy of it before. I got to the point, I was like, I'm not going to try and pixel snipe weak points. Um, why not just play aggressive on the right? I asked these guys for help, they, they say affirmative, so I know they're coming with me. Um, th this causes those two heavies to pull back off of that, so now I'm going to play even more aggressive. I'm going to push up to this rock, and I'm going to then pull out on this scent, because ultimately I'm trading his one for my five. Um, so you'll actually see a misplay here. I put two in, and then this this shot right here, would have it never would have went in. I should have just pulled out a little further, got that shell in, you know, did what I had to do. Um, get that last shell in, I'm gonna pull back and reload. Because now, everyone pulled away from the city to come deal with the valley. But the cap's in the city, so the fact that we have nobody in the city, you know, it leaves it open for this. Um, so now what I'm gonna, what I'm hoping to do is I'm gonna be pushing all the way at the K-line, and I'm gonna come to the back of the city. Uh, this E3 here is gonna get spotted, I'm, I'm not really worried, I don't think they're gonna spot me, and, but they, they do. So, I'm very lucky I did not get smacked for, you know, the 750 plus that VK's, what is it, 5... 560, I think? Some, or 490, I think it is. Um, I, I could very well be dead. But, they can't shoot, thank God. So, with that being said, I'm gonna keep pushing through. Um, this, this is the time, this is my time of the battle. I have to get this done. Um, VK, right there. Side scrape it got on me, he knew where I was going, didn't get it. So I'm actually gonna come here. I'm gonna take the hit from the I7, I don't care. I'm gonna get these shots into the conk to get those resets and also lower his HP. Uh he puts a shell into me, but hey, what what can I do? Um, back up, hit this guy. Uh, he actually shoots and misses, so I'm I'm free to take that last round. Uh, I'm gonna load up a heat uh I'm gonna load up a heat clip now, so that way when I come back around, I have a better chance of Penning that IS-7. Um, so here I'm, I'm just running around because it should be relatively safe, but I spot one of the arteries and well, I still have 20 seconds on a reload. So I'm hoping that 5041 and he, there he goes. That's a very impressive snipe from that tank. And I push up, get hit by the EVR from the center, so now I'm one shot. And this other arty got spotted. So I'm worried the arty was actually going to heal on me, but our savior 5041 comes in again. This is this could have been a misplay doing what I did. I sat there and I held that angle on him for so long. He could have easily just clicked his mouse and RNG could have told me to just fought, pack your bags, go back to the garage. But it didn't, so. Now with, with that being said, I'm gonna push up here, but I got spotted, which that's uh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to get up here and not have them knowing where I was, but they do. So it's whatever. What can I do? Uh, I'm actually gonna sit in the cab just to just to halt it. And what I'm doing here is I'm just looking around the corner, waiting for the IS-7 to shoot. When he shoots, I'm gonna make my play. IS-7 just shot. I'm gonna go take out the VK with that first shell. Send one through his plate. No, no, I guess not. Through the corner? No. No, guess not. Alright, well, maybe right here. No. Guess not. Alright, well, that's the game on Lakeville. I'm happy with that as well. Another 4k damage game. Um, you know, there's a few shots here and there, like on that IS-7 that didn't go through, but it's whatever. But anyways, thank you guys for coming back in. That's it for today, and I'll see you next time.